Evening folks, it's Friday night, um, I should be in the pub, uh, except um, I'm having an absolute nightmare down in my basement. Um, that camera wasn't recognised by my computer earlier, that sound card wasn't recognised earlier, the plugin I want to demonstrate doesn't work on my Mac, my big 88 key MIDI controller doesn't work with my sustain pedal, it's an absolute shit show. Um, I'm sure the battery in one of these things is going to go while I'm filming this don't really know why I bother. Um, I wish I'd just played this guitar all night instead. Anyway, so Christian Henson is back. You may know him from Labs, Spitfire Audio, Piano Book. He is behind many, many really, really cool projects, audio, music, software, plugins, really, 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 really cool community led efforts so it's good to see him back his new company is called let's get this right the crow hill company they did their first bit of socials this week dropped a sort of big video on last night i think um they've dropped a new plugin it's over there on that laptop um couldn't get it working on my mac um it's there i'm using an old mac they've probably written it for people that actually have up-to-date machines, fair plays. Um, works perfectly on a PC laptop. Your experience might differ from mine, but on the laptop it was it was absolutely brilliant. Um, so, what is the? Hang on, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what screen I'm looking at. The plugin. Well, it's not a million miles away from Labs, you'd say. It basically seems to be like a sample-based instrument. Um, it's called Volts. It's big and yellow. Um, it's shipped, like the, f the first patch is shipped for free if you sign up. Um, it's called Attic Grand. It's a piano. Um, that's maybe no surprise. Um it has some pretty interesting um, effects. I mean, it's basically... OMG. Oh my God, that's about to fall apart. Okay. Don't, don't touch the laptop. The effects are called Smash, Hair, Echo and Splosh. And I have read the manual. Um, and it's basically they're just they're, they're parameters that the engineers have chosen to sort of make the sound more interesting without necessarily calling them reverb wetness or delay time or, or you know they're I think deliberately ambiguous um, not really sure what they're doing but you know use your ears um, one interesting thing is that it's like there's a, there's a built-in reverse effect in this particular plugin. Um, I don't know whether that'll be a mainstay of this plugin or whether they just sort of would were doing this for this particular one. So the reverse amount is automatically tied into the mod wheel. which is, is pretty interesting. Um, the piano sounds very nice. Um, I think on the Mac it was coming in at about 600 megabytes. Uh, on my PC it seemed to come in at about 500 megabytes. So it's about half a gig. So it's obviously a, a, a pretty deeply sampled piano. Not, not the most biggest, deepest layered sample um, piano, but, you know, deep enough, deep enough compared to the two sample instruments that I tend to make. This is a deeply sampled piano. Um, I wasn't clear who, whose attic it came from uh, or where the attic was located, but um, I'm sure that there's no doubt an interesting story behind this instrument. Anyway, um, I'm no pianist, but let's hear it. As I say, it's very nice. Um, I'm going through a bit of a convoluted signal chain with two mixers because, you know, life is complicated. Um, I was I was doing a bit of production on it last night, just on the laptop, and it it, it sounds it sounds really nice.
if we give it more smash. Possibly more compressed. Although the manual does say these are, these are macros. So increasing the smash, maybe doing one, two, three, four sort of things, you know, it might be a bit of an EQ adjustment and some compression and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give it more hair. Sort of like a weird sort of overdriven reverby thing. Let's give it more echo. Echo is echo. Let's give it more splosh. Roughly sounds like a bit kind of reverbish effect. If you keep the splosh high, put some echo in. 50% hair <laughs> and about 50% smash as well. Um, let's see what this sounds like. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, not sure what's going on, on the Mac. Um, it gives you the options that to be have a VST three AUI VSTI, and I think the RTAS or whatever. Um, as I say, I'm running a fairly old operating system, um, so your experience on the Mac might be different to mine, especially if you've bothered to keep your operating system up to date which is probably a good idea but um there we go anyway that's a vault from the crow hill company uh christian henson's new th new venture new thing um awesome you know i'm looking so i think what is the cool thing about this is not necessarily here's a new plugin because you know i've got a million piano plugins um, I think these projects are interesting because of the people, the places, the instruments that can potentially find their way in, 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 into these sort of plugins that, that, that anyone can use. For example, I think last year Labs released the Glass Piano, which is literally Philip Glass's piano that went into his apartment or his house, wherever, sampled his piano and then delivered that to us as a plugin. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, so, it, so, so, so it's exciting that there's a new thing. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, goodbye. Have a nice weekend. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio.